Good day, everyone. My name is Natalia Fumero. I am a STEM teacher and a coding instructor. And today I want to do a quick walkthrough on how you can create C++ projects using your Mac system. So perhaps some of you are trying to code in C++ for the first time, or maybe transfer some of your code before, but you want to use a Mac, or you want to know and teach somebody how to use it who only has a Mac OS system working for them. Well, they will have to use Xcode. And so today I want to show you, once they do have Xcode downloaded, how they can create a C++ project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open my Xcode real quick. I have got the version 11.6, right? Uh, after I was still working with this at around 10.8. So I'm pretty sure that they have been the same for about uh, a couple whole numbers. So uh, we should be okay. This should be a transcendental video for everybody or pertinent for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So once you see this pop-up window over here, you can just say create a new Xcode project. All right, now it's creating a bridging header because my project I originally accidentally hit Swift for. But I'm going to go ahead and create a new project yet again uh, to make sure this time I actually select the C++. So you can see, I can select desktop. Here we go. So our main CVP. There we go. This is our typical C++ jargon, right? This is, uh, if you've ever coded in C++ before, you know it starts with an include IO stream. Hashtag include input output stream. This is your input and output library that allows you to input and output to your console. It's actually going to come up from the bottom of my screen here in a second. Hello world, and then the program was executed uh, with exit code zero. That means we had no errors. Fabulous. Great. So just a couple more things. In the case that this is your first time ever creating um, a C++ project in general, I do want to leave you on with a solid foundation here. So I'm going to tell you right now that the STD, the standard library, in this case has not been added. So typically in a C++ project you will say something like using namespace STD and that allows us to not have to repeat as ourselves saying std on every single line afterwards. That's why these two lines in particular are very famous for being on top of any C++ project. And now when I take this out, my code will still execute properly. Now notice that there is several arguments inside of this main function. In the case that you don't know what an argument is, well those are things that go inside of parentheses after you've initiated a function. This is the type of this function, is int, and this is the name of it. Now these arguments or things inside of the parentheses don't typically exist when you create a Visual Studio project. That's because these arguments are a part of the bridging uh, that is occurring here since we're working with Xcode. But don't be too bothered with them. You won't have to do anything about it. Every single time you create a C++ project, they'll just be there. And then the last thing you'll see here is that it says return zero. And in Visual Studio, that's also taken care of. It's actually hidden. Uh, Visual Studio doesn't return zero in your main method, even though this is actually the syntactical correct way to look at it. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is just the in very introductory and blank slate video that I want to start as a series on how to code C++ with Xcode. Hope you have a great day.